But first this evening, the fire near Cloudcrop that has burned approximately 67 structures is now 16% contained. Over the past few days, some have learned that their homes are still standing, while others are finding out that everything they had is gone. News 13 Cheyenne Cope was in Timberon today checking out the damage. She joins Jessica, we talked to a couple here yesterday in Cloudcroft who still didn't know if their home was okay and were very eager to get there and check out the damage. I'm anxious to get back and see what's left. I'm anxious to see. I'm just anxious to get back in. We ran into the same couple today here in Timberon. They told us that they were able to check out their home yesterday, and after, yesterday afternoon and it was spared by the fire. They escorted us up Afterwards, yeah. in order to get a couple of things from the house and check on it. And it was in perfect condition as far as we could see. And although their home was okay, at least 30 other families have lost theirs. Now the community is coming together to help families who've lost everything. One woman who's not a full-time resident of Timberon is offering up her home to a family who lost theirs. Somebody else came around and said, you can, you can use our house because we use it for a vacation house and you don't have to do anything, just, just move in. Right now, fire crews are working to mop up hot spots. They don't know yet when people will be allowed to return to their homes. As I did mention before, right now the fire is 16% contained, but officials expect that number to grow by this evening. Jessica, Dean, back to you. All right, thank you, Cheyenne. Now, the cause of the fire is still unknown, but investigators are on the scene.